Good morning. I'm going to give you some words of encouragement this morning. At least I hope it encourages you as it has me. Again, I'm reading this devotion and it says this, that Jesus was a bruised, bloody mess, but not a broken mess. And it goes on to indicate that just because we are in a situation, it doesn't mean that it has the power to break us. We may be in a, you know, um, your current situation doesn't have the power to break you. I want you to think about those things. Um, when the word crushed is in the Hebrew word, daka, it means bruised, destroyed, feeling like you are in a grave with the weight of the world on you. And if you feel like that right now, or if you have been experiencing that, I'm going to give you some scriptures to make you feel better. Well, I don't want to say feel better, but to encourage your, to, you know, to encourage your heart, to give you that, that motivation again to start digging deep, to put your boots on, put your war paint on, and to stand tall. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse um, 7, it says this, But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, so that the surpassing greatness of the power of God, that the power will be of God and not from ourselves. When we realize that what we're going through, and this is, you know, Paul talking about, you know, all they've gone through, that we, we relieve ourselves of the responsibility of the power that's needed to get through the situation that is in the Lord. When we're weak, he is strong. He says this in verse 8, we are afflicted in every way, but not crushed. Are you afflicted in every way right now? Is every corner that you turn, you can feel the enemy nipping at your heels and you feel that affliction everywhere. It says that they were afflicted in everywhere, but not crushed. Remember the definition of crushed, the, the Hebrew definition of crushed that I gave you. Perplexed, but not despairing. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Always caring about in the body the dying of Jesus so that the life of Jesus also may be manifest in our body. What are you going through right now? What are you perplexed about? What are you feeling persecuted about? What are you being struck down for? What are you being afflicted for? Now, for this moment, if we could take our eyes off the exact circumstance that we're going through, the painful, heart-aching, can't sleep, not in my stomach situation. And we look at this situation as how we are in doing this situation. Our weakness will activate the power of God in us to bring us through. We may be bruised, but we're not going to be broken and destroyed. The situation will not have the power to do that to you. But also, while we're doing this, why don't we think about how that we can be that ambassador that through this entire situation in my life that others everywhere else can see God manifest in my situation. They can see my undying love and my faith in him because it says that he is close to the brokenhearted. Because I want to read this last verse to you in Second Corinthians chapter 4 um, verse 16. Therefore we do not lose heart. But through our out, though our outer man is decaying, yet our inner man is being renewed day by day. It isn't it wonderful to think about that every single day that we can be renewed in God and our relationship, renewed, getting that renewing, like the dew falling on the earth every morning, that newness, that refreshing, that reactivation. Every single morning we can get that, and then it says, uh, "For momentary, momentary, momentary light affliction." is producing for us an eternal weight of glory far beyond all comparison. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Now, you're going through this situation. You feel like you're being crushed, but you're not going to be destroyed. You're bruised, but not broken. The situation is not going to break you. And it says, for this momentary light affliction is producing for us an eternal weight. You know, it says in scripture to lay aside every weight so that we may run. But this is, this is producing an eternal weight, something heavy, something substantial in eternity for us, beyond any comparison of anything that you're going through. So this means that what we're about to receive at the end of all of this is going to be far greater and outweigh any pain, persecution, pressure, and affliction that we've gone through. Now, 
Again, while we look at things that are not seen, so let's stop focusing on what we physically see with our eyes and let's focus on what we may not be able to see. And that is the hand of God moving. That is how he um, He invokes power to us through all those things. How he is present in the time of trouble. How he is a rock and he is a refuge. How he is the great I am. He is the beginning and the end. He is the author and finisher of our faith. He is not the author of confusion. He says to be anxious for nothing. And because we know this, it allows our mind to shift to focus continually on what I know. I know that I know that I know. I know that I know that God is still on the throne. No matter what. And as you're enduring what you're going through. As you ask God. God let this situation. That feels like it's crushing me. That feels like it's putting me down in the ground. Lord let this situation bring glory to your life. Let people may see you manifest in your power. Because at the end of it all. If people see what you have, they're going to be inclined to want what you have to get through what you're going through. Many years ago, um, one of our um, high school, after we graduated, one of our high school friends passed away. And his mom was really just rejoicing in the Lord, just praising God for the life that she had with him. And yes, she was brokenhearted. And yes, she was just overwhelmed. But she never never did fail to give God praise and glory for the years that she had and these situations or, or the memories. And another mother was there of another uh, person that we'd gone to. And she said to her, I want what you have so that if I ever go through what you're going through, I can feel what you are expressing that you're going through. See, it, it makes a difference. People are watching us when everything is falling apart. Today, let's never fail to give him the glory. Let's realize that we may be cast down, but we are not broken. This situation is going to break us. And the, let's think about everything that we're going through, what we're going to get, that eternal weight and glory is going to outweigh everything that we've experienced. Be encouraged today in this word that 2 Corinthians chapter 4, starting at verse 7, and have a mighty blessed day.